Hello and welcome to the Valorant Esports Recap, a new series on my channel. With this series, I plan to bring you guys the news of everything related to Valorant's esports scene. From roster formations and changes, tournament announcements and formats, and tournament recaps with storylines and highlights. Since this video will be releasing on the launch of Valorant's closed beta, let's cover our bases first. What is Valorant? Valorant is a character-based 5v5 tactical shooter by Riot Games. The easiest anecdote is the game takes the unique hero abilities from Overwatch, called Agents in Valorant, and mixes it with the gunplay and game mode from CSGO. With the closed beta's release, gameplay can be found all over Twitch and YouTube. To help you learn every agent and their abilities, I personally recommend the Agent Guide made by 100 Thieves. If your playstyle is to catch the enemy team off guard, rack up countless eliminations, and outgun every duel you come across, then Phoenix is the agent for you. With his abilities tailored around entry fragging and gaining the upper hand through one-on-one -on -one fights, Phoenix is sure to be a staple in every single Valorant match. For esports news, since we are in the early days of this game's lifespan, there is not a lot of info from Riot on how esports will be handled. But we did get important info from an interview with Rioters Riot Ziegler and Riot Supercakes hosted by Dr. Lupo. The first piece of news that may not be directly related to esports but is important for competitive players is the start of Valorant's Ranked mode. The game will not launch with Ranked in order to give players a chance to learn the game in a low pressure environment, but the mode will be enabled within a few weeks of launch. In more direct esports related news, Supercakes and Ziegler confirmed that there will be custom lobbies and a spectator system available at launch. This is important since it means third party online tournaments can be hosted in the early weeks after release. The spectator system ensures these tournaments can be broadcasted. This is important because when the rioters were asked directly about esports, this is what they had to say. Right? Yeah. I mean, we should. Um, we'll have some community tournament guidelines coming soon. Like, we're working on those first. I think we want to see what this community wants out of an esport. You know, we have a lot of, we have a lot of experience in the esport uh, world, um, but we're... We really need to understand what players are looking for with, with this game's esport um, and, and, and develop it from there. But, I mean... It, there's no world where I'm going to say no. We haven't been thinking about it, or no, we're not going to do it. Of course, it's something we want. Of course, it's something we should we should be looking at, investing in. Um, but yeah, I think we just we don't want to force it. I think forcing it would be would be a mistake. I think we're all hoping it becomes an esport. I just think we're just trying not be trying not to be presumptuous and assuming that what we think the esport should be is what the players want it to be. So we we need to learn more from our players as we prep to build an esport um, to actually target the right thing and so the team that's working on that is doing a lot of research and working with a lot of people see the team that's working on that like he says like the team is working it's not like we're like there's no one at riot who's going eh, i don't know like we totally yeah. want this right but it needs to be genuine and it needs to be built with the community and we need to know what that looks like but but yeah we 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 want this riot is initially going for a grassroots approach to their esport by putting it in the hands of its community and third-party tournament organizers this is arguably the best time to follow any esport because everyone is starting on the same playing field and anyone has a chance to win. I have no doubt Riot has future goals for global franchise leagues, but this approach leads to an engaging start to a new esport for both players and spectators. I plan to use this series to help you guys stay 100% up to date with everything Valorant esports and I can't wait to see what happens next. Subscribe to this channel, leave a comment on what you guys want to see, and follow me on Twitter to support my content. My name is Daniel Gomez and I'll talk to you guys later.